guys, so tonight just for a little bit of fun I thought I would do a K-Beauty evening routine since I haven't done a routine lately. And with winter coming, uh, it's always nice to change up your routine a little bit, add some more hydrating ingredients to keep your skin moisturized and hydrated through the winter. So what better way to do that with them with some fun K-Beauty products and a few I haven't tried yet. So I'm going to start out by cleansing and... Uh, Rovectin came out with a skin conditioning cleanser, which I've had a chance to use a couple times now, and then so far I'm really liking it. Uh, it does a pretty good job removing makeup, sunscreen, uh, everything except it does struggle a little bit with um, like waterproof eye makeup. But otherwise, so far it's done a pretty good job. So I'm going to cleanse with this, and then I'm going to use a toner, and then we can see if there's anything left behind. So uh, anyway, Aveeno had come out with several products recently. They are Calm Oat Berg line. And I so far, I really liked everything from the line. And the cleanser, eh, not so much. But the Rovectin is everything I was wanting from this. So I don't know, it's hard for a brand to do everything perfect. So no one's perfect except me. I don't know. Okay, let's give this a whirl here. It's got a really nice consistency, some light lathering. It's got some good ingredients in here. Uh, Centella Asiatica we've got, uh, sodium hyaluronate. Uh, we've got several amino acids, grapeseed extract, uh, and then a little bit more types of hyaluronic acid, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. So uh, radish root ferment. So some good things in here. Not so crazy about the clear bottle, but so far I'm really enjoying everything else about this one. So. and clean so okay so for the record let me get this I was wearing uh, a couple serums a sunscreen and then a foundation then a light powder before I cleansed and now I'm gonna do a little bit of a toner the Costarex propolis synergy toner which is a great K-Beauty find and pretty affordable. And the bottle is gigantic. This will last months. Oh, I think I need a little bit more. A little bit more always is, you know what, if a little bit's good, a lot more is better, right? Well, that's my like OCD way of, way of uh, getting by things I really like to do, even though sometimes it's not so good. If a little good a lot better right rationalization there we go I don't know between uh, the sunscreen the foundation I had on I, I sweat a lot today I was walking quite far I'd say this did a pretty darn good job and that's not even with a first cleanse I just went straight for that one so uh, it's pretty impressive I did have a little bit of eye makeup on but not a ton but Pretty impressed. That cleanser did a great job. Nice light lather and doesn't leave skin feeling dry afterwards. And bonus, it removes pretty much everything. So that's amazing. Okay, so now a new product I picked up recently, the uh, Manyo Galactamine Niacin Essence. I'm going to just apply a couple drops to the palm of my hand. And then pat it over my face. Hang on one second. I feel like I have a visitor. No, Lincoln? Oh, well, I thought I had a visitor. But then he left. So that essence feels really nice. It's a little pricey. Uh, I picked up from Yes Style. But the bottle is bigger than 
Like, it looked in the picture. How many ounces is this? Does it say? I didn't grab the bottle for this. The packaging. Well, let's see. It does not say anywhere on here the ounces. But it looks bigger than the typical, like, one ounce bottle. Well, there we go. Whatever. Uh, anyway, I really like this so far. It's very nice. Not a ton of ingredients, which is nice. Feels really soft on my skin. Soaked in pretty quickly. So let's move on to my uh, next layer, which is going to be the Differin Gel, which is the one exception to the K-Beauty rule here. I typically use this most nights, and I find that it does a pretty good job preventing breakouts and even helping with fine lines a little bit since it's a retinoid, although it's not really approved or used for that much. Okay. Now I'm just wondering, I've got um, this uh, from TM, this spot treatment, which has spicules in it, which spicules, I'll have to do a video about it, but it's very interesting how these little microscopic like needles almost uh, help bring uh, good ingredients to damaged skin and blemish areas and things like that, but I don't really think I have any of that going on, so I think I'm going to skip this one tonight, but I'm excited to review this because it's got some interesting technology going on in here. Let's see what else do I need to do. I also picked up the Naked Face and Telescar ointment, which I guess I could use in a couple areas of concern. I've always got scars from car accident and almost like a silicone. Anything with centella in it, I love. Oh, this does have a little bit of a fragrance, which I'm not too crazy about. However, you don't seem to have to use much. So, I don't know, it feels kind of greasy almost. It just feels like a silicone, really. I don't know. Well, that's the first time I tried that. Not wild about it, but I do like other things from the brand. So no one's perfect. Let me see if I have my eye cream handy. Hang on one second. Okay. The Casarex Peptide Snail Ampule. I love this stuff. I can't get enough of it. And I love, I can use it over my entire eye area, around the eye, on the lids when they get dry. And if you've got any really dry areas on your face, you can apply this and use it as a multi-purpose eye and face cream. Which you can't do with everything, but this is a nice two for, two for one. Really works well. So, very nice there. Okay, now I'm going to go with a light moisture. No, you know what? I'm debating if I should use the Rovectin Clean LHA Ampule, which feels very nice. Or if I should just go to the moisturizer. By the way, look at what else I got. Finally, the new Purito BB Cream. I can't wait to review that one. Okay, so I'm going to go with my light moisturizer, which is the Casarex uh, Panthenol Cream. And then after that, I'm going to apply a thicker moisturizer. My skin is always so dry. So layering moisturizer is always a plus. And I'm going to apply a little bit of this to my neck, which is so dry and sensitive that I can almost apply like hardly anything else to it, especially when the seasons change. I mean, within the last week, I think the temperature difference has been like 40 degrees in the last week. It was like 20 last Friday, and today was about 70. But don't worry, it's going to snow in a couple days, so it won't last for long. Okay, and then I'm going to apply a little bit thicker cream, the Rovectin Water Lotus Cream, and then a sleeping pack. My skin's been a little bit dry, so the more moisturizers, it seems to help. And it seems to all soak in while I'm sleeping. Okay, and the last one, 
the what are they called? Green Energy Calming Mask Pack. And this is, I believe, just meant to be used as a sleeping mask. Take an ample amount. Oh, it's, it does say to rinse off. Well, then I won't use it right now. Well, in that case, then I'm going to go with the Rovectin Stick Up Sleeping Pack instead. This one is a sleeping mask. Apply to face and irritated skin. Suitable for sensitive and dry skin. Apply as often as necessary. Use morning or night, which is interesting since they call it a sleeping pack. Can be used morning and night. It's a very gel texture. Oh, this one feels really nice though. Oh, it feels really hydrating. has a very, 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 very light, like fruit scent to it. I wonder what's in it. Let's see. Water glycerin, a centella asiatica, obviously, aloe, moringa seed extract, latlin, licorice root. A couple of things I've not seen before. Broccoli extract, it does have a little bit of fragrance, geranol, citronella, and geranium, which are all at the very end. Then we've got broccoli extract. So uh, thankfully the fragrance is at the end. I don't get as freaked out about like citrus oils and things like that when I use them at night, but I do get far more concerned about using them in the daytime, especially if you're out in the sunlight, just because of that phototoxic re relationship between citrus oils and essential oils and the sun. But obviously, not as big of a concern at night, although if you still have sensitive skin, you're still better off avoiding it. But uh, if you do have sensitive skin, in my opinion, their water lotus cream is amazing and has uh, no scent to it. So that one might be the way I'd go. But so far for my dry skin, the texture of this one is just really nice. I mean, it's a light, but it feels very hydrating and uh, dare I say a little bit plumping? I don't know. So anyway, well, next time I'll have to do this mask since, since I didn't get a chance to. Kind of bummed, but I guess I thought it was more of a sleep mask. But no one's perfect, so. Anyway, well, that was kind of fun. So um, I'm interested if you guys have tried any of those these products. Kind of a short routine. I'm really trying to get a little bit simple for the transition to winter, kind of cutting back on acids and exfoliants and retinoids, cutting back a little bit on those until my skin adjusts fully to the coldness and then slowly kind of reincorporating them. It's always a give and take just because of the winter. And you know what, sometimes when your skin does get super dry, it's better just to calm it down, go with a shorter routine, shorter steps, and then reintroduce them into your skin routine and see how it handles each thing. So my skin the last couple of weeks has just been so dry and irritated and uh, you know you've got the weather and then putting the mask on and my skin did not like that and anyway so well those are my thoughts so a lot of Rovectin a lot of Manu and a little bit of Casa Rex in there so you can't have a good Kate Beauty routine without Casa Rex somewhere in there for at least their eye cream because it's amazing but okay anyway uh, thank you guys so much, and I will see you later.